everyone, Lo here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in if you're new here. Um, I'm making kind of two types of videos currently, like either it's based on my like cosplay obsession or it's based on my toy collecting obsession. <laughs> so um, today is another video about um, toy collecting. And <laughs> I'm calling this kind of video now um, like pick up leftovers, which is something that one of my favorite YouTube channels currently also calls it. Like my favorite, the channel is uh, Ed's Retro Geek Out. He's also into uh, vintage toy collecting, but also retro gaming, which I'm not in. Um, and he always, um, when something uh, he has new and he picked up, like when not rolling the camera, then he shows it like as a like complete uh, kind of haul type. And this is also like it's a com commemorative haul of things that I picked up or got over the past weeks. Um, which I haven't showed in any other video. So, okay, let's jump into that. Okay, let's start with two My Little Ponies that kind of date back the longest since I purchased them. And it's a kind of an interesting story. It's these two. It's um, Butterscotch and Snuzzle. And I got them from Japan. They are not Japanese ponies, but my friend Michi um, was in Japan for half a, like half a year, long period, half a year. She was over there. I couldn't join her um, for a holiday because of the COVID-19 craze. Um, that's why I wasn't there. But she still uh, like ran into a thrift shop, um, like. She didn't know she went in there were ponies she has no clue about ponies but she was like um, sending me a photo like um, hey or, or she, she was telling me hey I'm currently in the, in the thrift uh, store and there are my little ponies are you interested should I bring you anything like with you uh, with me should I buy anything and she was sending me photos and there were a different kind of ponies and um, all generation one which was like of course of course please buy me something um, it's just to have something that she brought over from Japan is nice. Although they are, of course, not uh, the, the Japanese ponies. They are not the Takara ponies or anything. They're just normal generation one ponies. And the funny thing is, and I was like, oh, I can't really see on the photos. Da, da, da. And then she gave me a video call. It was like, for me, it was uh, in the early morning. I was uh, sitting at my breakfast table. And for her, she was out and uh, visiting another city somewhere in the, in the afternoon. And then we had a video call and she was like showing me around the ponies uh, and I was like, oh, could you pick up this one? What is it? Can you show to me? Ah, oh, no, 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 this one there, there is uh, like something missing or the hair look, looks uh, like gross or whatever. And um, I was like uh, really interested in those um, collector's post ponies, um, which are from the original very first set. At least that's what I'm always hoping and then I see uh, they have like the concave feet, but these two don't have that. They are original set one flat feet ponies. I can show you. So, okay, there's something underneath, but you see that they are like flat and then they have a circle and then the production country is in there. Completely different to what, for example, other ponies have. They have these, this is like a concave feet pony and this is a flat feet pony. And they are both flat feet ponies. And and that was something very special that actually you don't see uh, uh, very often over here in Europe. Um, so these must be really from uh, America. So the very first set of six ponies was just released in 1982 in, uh, in the US. And some of these ponies, of course, afterwards were re-released in Europe or uh, in Europe done with play sets or in the later years, uh, but never with these like flat feet versions. So there you can recognize that this is really from the very first set. Butterscotch and Snuzzle. And then I saw them and, and she picked them up like it was in March, probably in March. And, and then she had them all the time um, when she was in Japan and um, I just got them now she's not back 
since uh, May uh, in Germany and I visited her. Uh, you have maybe seen the vlogs um, of me being there in Düsseldorf and I visited her and now she finally could give them to me. And I'm so happy these are our first flat feet and I do not have butterscotch or snuzzle in any other release so it's something very special for me. Yay! By the way, they were both, or at least snuzzles, was in a kind of a sticky condition, not really good, so I did my best to do the job of like washing, cleaning and powdering her. She still has a lot of not so nice spots and here's some, some Sharpie marker, but now she looks fabulous and butterscotch was in a better condition. So, these two. So the next thing I want to show you is something that I was sent also already some weeks ago but I never included it in any video. It is the gift set um, that uh, we all got from the now of course cancelled uh, pony convention call, call, called Nachtlichtcon. So it would have been a German pony convention, I guess more centered around really collecting generation one ponies and they sent the gift bag which we would have uh, received normally at the convention uh, to our homes and it included this wonderful tote bag which I have used now ever since always when I go out for pony uh, like photos toy photography I always put my ponies in there you can see it's already probably a little bit dirty <laughs> the Nachtlichtcon German pony convention and yeah, that's, that's, that's just so uh, sweet. The name Nachtlichtcon is also because uh, Nachtlicht is one of a like a set, well, not really set, but it's a German exclusive pony. It's very uh, sought after, and um, yeah, it's a German pony con, so they call it the convention uh, Nachtlichtcon. And uh, this this gift set also included three really cute postcards of um, the artist uh, Premium Pommes. She is affiliated with the convention, so she, she is running it with some other uh, girls. And she really does super cute paintings of Generation 1 ponies in her specific style. So here, we got, here, so, so here we've got Cool Breeze from the uh, Summer Wing Ponies. Here is a set of the baby pony and pretty pal of the panda and the pony. Uh, the name is now slipping me, sorry. And then um, Pina Colada in her style. I'm so I was so happy and freaking out when I saw this. Like Pina Colada is one of my favorites. Uh, it's from the Tropical Ponies, and I actually have them already hanging on my wall. That's why I have uh, like sticky things at the back <laughs> but I wanted to show them to you because it's something that I was so happy when uh, I saw the small package um, yeah and since flea markets are back open I um, did not only go flea to flea markets in like this vlogging um, experience that I showed you but I also just sometimes went to my local flea market and like sometimes I picked uh, something up and one of the things is here, um, these two pony combs. It's these two, these two pony combs from Generation po Generation One ponies. Uh, this is probably one from the Starlight Baby ponies, and this from the Alphabet Babies. And if you have seen my second um, flea market um, vlogging adventure. Then you heard me talking about that uh, of my local flea market there was a lady having two pony combs and then I asked her if she also has the ponies for these combs or others and she said yes and then I said yeah okay then we meet next um, uh, flea market and since then she has never been there or I haven't found her or she she can't remember that we talked about it so but these are the combs and she also had a cherry Mary muffin doll in her box and uh, as like multiple times I have told you I'm not collecting dolls but whenever I find like small dolls which are like more of like Barbie sized or smaller which are not Barbie <laughs> uh, 
and I know what they are and I usually pick them up and it was the same because um, uh, some weeks or well, some days or weeks prior I uh, had a sharemarymuffin.com in my in one of my pony lots um, the video is also up and I found out about that this comp is from a Cherry Mary Muffin doll and then maybe some days later I found this girl at the flea market which was like okay I can't leave her there. It's Chocolati. she's from the first set of Cherry Mary Muffin dolls. She's missing her apron and a lot of accessories but I washed her clothes, I styled her hair really neat and she's in a very good condition after all um, except for she's missing some accessories. So. Couldn't leave her there. Um, what else? Yeah, also at this flea market another day, I picked up some more LPS, which was before I put my LPS bun, bam, which works, I have to say. Um, but this day I picked up five little LPS. I cannot really tell you anything about them. This is a seahorse, this is a blue birdie, this is a zebra very cute and a fish and um, yeah after that so that was before my uh, flea market um, vlogging weekend so since then I haven't bought any <laughs> or yeah um, like last weekend I was also flea marketing and I found a lot of LPS and I didn't buy them which is good because I don't need more currently <laughs> but still wanted to show them to you. Um, yeah, okay, let's um, uh, like return to something that I was sent, or not I was sent, but that I ordered online, because um, since flea markets are open, I didn't buy so much of eBay, which is also very good, because I bought so many ponies, if you remember all those boxes, like some of my hauls um, weeks uh, ago, during the time of the lockdown or nearly lockdown when nothing was open and I was like ordering all the stuff of eBay that I wanted. <laughs> I have since then just ordered from one seller two ponies, sorry, which are these two. Um, this is Caramel Crunch from the Kenny Kane ponies which is a set of ponies that I am collecting actively. I want to have all six of them. They are scented ponies themed after different sweets or, or, or snacks or treats. So this one has uh, popcorn as uh, the cutie mark. And they have the super curled hair uh, with like spiral curls in two different colors, always white and another color. And this one is like the most uh, beautiful pony concerning like if that it really deserves the name Candy King Pony because of those red and white curls. Of course the pony didn't come like this with these insanely curled hair like I did this. And this is one of my favorite things to do, recurl pony hair so that she, that the ponies look so beautiful again. And the other one is from the Fancy Pants Baby Ponies which is a set of baby ponies that has these diapers instead of regular cutie marks. This is, let me, uh, this is Baby Starburst. Uh, some ponies' names I can't remember really well. Baby Starburst. And I actually just bought it because it was a, 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 at a good price. And the same From the same seller as Caramel Crunch. And I thought, okay, I already have one of those fancy pants baby ponies, which is baby glider over here. So she can have a companion. <laughs> and um, while researching, I found some, something uh, interesting out. I found out something interesting that I thought like here the yellow forelock is kind of shorter than the rest, also here. So I thought it must be cut, but no. And the European versions of those ponies, which you can recognize because under the hoof it says China. The, Euro the um, American versions have um, Thailand under there, so they were produced in Thailand. And these are produced in China, the Euro versions. And they came in two different versions, so not really um, knowing why, but either they came with a long forelock, 
like this one. You see the neon hair, the forelock is long. Or they came with a short forelock, like this one. So it's not cut, it is original like this. So that was interesting. And yeah, so I just uh, ordered these two from a seller of eBay that I have already ordered multiple of these before. So I know it's a reliable seller and he always gives uh, sometimes like you know, discounts um, on ponies or on things that you follow on eBay and then she, um, um, like he gives you a better price after that. So that's also something good. So I picked up these two. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. Then let's come to the last big like group of toys and that I picked up last Sunday when I was again at the big uh, flea market in Biestorf which I recorded also on uh, in my like flea market weekend so the Sunday part there is this flea market included and um, I went again it's uh, every two weeks but I didn't record any footage uh, this time because actually I was supposed to go with my parents. They wanted to see. They were like, oh, that's interesting, huge flea market. Um, but then in the end, they cancelled and I went alone. So I could have filmed something because with my parents, I wouldn't have filmed anything. I could have filmed it, but I was really not prepared. I was like, uh, okay, I won't film anything. I would just enjoy the experience. But now I wish I would have filmed because I found so many ponies that that was the day of ponies of course I could have picked up also LPS or other stuff but I found so many original my little ponies and let's put this to the side a little bit so that I can um, have started as usual for me with picking up some smaller ponies which I also have to limit myself um, and I think I did pretty good. So I picked up three more uh, generation four blind back ponies. This um, Lyra, no, Lyra Lavender, I think. Spitfire. And um, Scootaloo. So I was good and just picked up um, characters from the show without picking up just random ones because there were more. Then I picked up to Ponyville as well. I do not have so many Ponyville yet so whenever I find some and you don't find them so often so that's still good I picked them up. This must probably be a Sweetie Belle. So Ponyville is from a generation 3 ponies. I don't know what this girl is. I could have picked up more Ponyville, so it's also good with this. But at some like age, like Ponyville's, and uh, not age, but at some like date, Ponyville's also start to get like ridiculously looking to me. Like they were released from 2006 to like up until generation. 3.5 run out, so 2010 when Generation 4 started. And the later years, the years of Generation 3.5 of the brushables, and also the Ponyville ponies look even more like human beings within a pony uh, body, but with like pigtails and with standing on two legs. And they were Ponyville like this, and I didn't pick them up, so I just picked these two up because they are very cute. and. And this is from the same seller. I also found my very first Breezy. Breezies are very, very small brushables, almost like the size of the blind bag or of the Ponyvilles, but they belong to the brushable collections. They are like super small, like fairies, and they most often came in other sets together with bigger ponies or with play sets like this one, which is called um, Zip Z. <laughs> okay. You could have lived without the name, but it's Zip Z, and she came in a in a playset of um, like pedal something pedal parlor with another pony, uh, which was not there. But like, yeah, I picked up my very first Breezy. 
thing I see is um, a lot of like um, smaller toys in plastic bags and in one of these plastic bags was this girl together with her peacock accessory or pet. This is Plumette um, and this is the Glimmerwing version of Plumette. I think I have another Plumette which has like um, different hair colors and no wings so there were maybe three different plumettes out and she is the one with the giant wings. I always wanted to have one with the giant wings. I never uh, found one so this is the first one I found and the, she came even together with her like peacock friend here. Yeah, then I come to a seller where uh, I found lots of ponies. So she had like a small like box, like filled up with different ponies, but all original ponies. Most often you find like some, some fakies in between or some things that are not really from pony, from something else, Playmobil or whatever. And then I, so there I picked up like all the ones that I really wanted. Um, which one to start? There was one generation, two pony in, this one, which is again a morning glory. It seems on flea markets I always find generation two morning glories, but this is still a different one. So I have the normal morning glory, last uh, flea market adventure you saw me uh, finding princess morning glory, and this is the royal wedding uh, princess morning glory, so she is still a little bit different. I picked up this generous two pony. Then there was another generation three baby, which I never actually see. I just picked up my first one at the um, like pony lot in Düsseldorf. Um, but here we've got baby uh, Sandy Island. She has very cute uh, like sand toys on her um, flank and. Yeah, it's, it's not really common for me, like at least to find uh, Generation 3 babies. Somehow they are rarer than the adult ones. Um, I found another Generation 3, but Generation 3.5. So it's somehow I found ponies of every generation from her. Um, this is a genera Generation 3.5 Rainbow Dash. I just have one other Generation 3.5, it's a Scootaloo. And I always thought they look kind of ridiculous and ugly, but in real like, reality to have them, they're actually kind of cute. So this is a like version of Rainbow Dash. Before Rainbow Dash was the Rainbow Dash we all know and love from uh, from Friendship is Magic. So I really like to have those characters in the different iterations. So that's why I thought, okay, that's, that makes sense. Although this, this ridiculous generation 3.5, thingy uh, makes sense to get this rainbow dash yeah and then it was like almost okay this 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 and also a ponyville which is uh, a little bit more special to me because I never had seen any of those mermaid ponyville so it's like a mermaid pony And I already asked for the price when I, when I saw these. There were also like a, some 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 other things in there in this box, and I was like, oh, how much? And she she told me the price of I think seven euro for these four ponies. I was like, oh, okay, but I will uh, first have a, another look. And I would almost I would have almost missed this generation one pony, but then I found it, and of course I included it. Uh, with them and then she wanted like eight euros for these five ponies which is like a good price in my opinion <laughs> for a generation one pony this was so special um it is the very first generation one pony that i ever ever found at a flea market like really out in the wild for a good price it is uh, baby stellar from the uh, starlight baby ponies 
It's a Euro exclusive set which look completely different than the US. In the US they had like kind of the same ponies but they were like glittery. I have the glittery baby star, uh, baby Stella here. They look completely different. So this is the US version, this is the uh, Euro version. And I, from this set, I have already like a baby night song. And now I have these two and I can't believe that I find it, like I found it at a flea market. This was like pony heaven that day that I found it and it was not even everything that I found. And at a completely like random seller which had like like anything and everything in boxes like wild uh, from books to toys to like uh, glasses whatever in one of those boxes I found her um, she is a Equestria Girl Mini she is an Equestria Girl Mini figurine Equestria Girls is kind of a like spin-off series of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. It's with the same characters, but they turn into like, like human beings, go to school and something like that. It's ridiculous. I hate this uh, series. I can't stand it. It's, it's no, not my thing. And um, they were also released like bigger Equestria Girls um, dolls, which resemble more like a Barbie girl or more like um, um, here. Uh, Monster High, they look more like Monster High or Ever After High and I hate them. Sometimes I find them in flea markets and never get them, although it is kind of my little pony, but they look like nothing like ponies. But then I found her and she's like from the mini, mini figurine. She doesn't have rushable hair or anything. And I think that she looks actually pretty cute. Well, it's Rarity, I didn't tell you, but it's, it's Rarity. Rarity is my favorite uh, character from Friendship is Magic. And then I thought, okay, I might just get her I don't know I never found any of those um, uh, Crestria girl mini figurines and the seller wanted like two euros so I was like okay I might grab her so I have now my very first Crestria girl um, mini figurine then I also found like big generation of not big but the normal adult generation three ponies at another seller and she had even more like it was so many ponies over at that flea market that day uh, but she had some that I already had which I didn't pick up then so but these two I picked up this is lovey dovey uh, she was so dirty she was completely dirty uh, covered in anything and everything but I was able to restore her really well. Um, it's something different with these generation three ponies than if you have like an old generation one pony which is like faded into a yellowy uh, color and the white is not white anymore. This was just dirty and I got it really white again. And I also got this one which is a generation 3 Fluttershy which I didn't know so that's interesting to get a Fluttershy version of generation 3 pony okay it has a butterfly here so like but well, how could I know that this is Fluttershy otherwise uh, she looks nothing like the, her uh, generation 4 counterpart um, and I picked up these two and she wanted 50 cents for the two of them so uh, in retrospective I think like why didn't I pick up the other ones that I didn't have that I already had I could have like just gifted them to my niece who was missing some of her generation 3 ponies she would have probably um, had loved this but I was like just like oh, I already have them I don't need them but for 50 cents two ponies maybe I could have gotten like five ponies for a euro or something but anyways oh and yeah over there I also picked up throw it in for the 50 cents. Um, also this brush, which is a generation three pony brush. Not from these two, because they had different colors. I think she, they had like white and I don't know, whatever. Anyways, generation three brush. Why not? What else did I pick up at the flea market? Something else, which is not a pony. <laughs> I picked up this Christmas decoration of a cupcake. Um, if you follow me, following me for a longer period of time, you maybe remember my Christmas decoration haul from last year's Vlogmas series. Um, and this is my kind of stuff. This is uh, 
colorful, pink, glittery, cute, like single um, Christmas decorations. I couldn't resist this one for 50 cents. Okay, and the last thing um, I didn't get at the flea market, but my one of like my other niece who is absolutely not into um, ponies or anything. She She's just into LOL dolls. I picked also up an LOL doll for her at uh, the flea market, which I already have uh, put in rubbing paper because she, she like her birthday is in some weeks. Um, but she had this fakey, generation three fakey pony lying around and asked me if I wanted it. And I just took it because I think it's a very cute generation three fakey. Uh, it's uh, in the Pegasus mold, which I do not have any Generation 3 pony and I figured out maybe I can do this as a custom pony because I need to learn more about uh, rehairing and, and stuff like that. So maybe I just use it as a custom pony and it looks really like they used an original Generation 3 pony mold because this is how the Pegasus ponies from Generation 3 mostly look like. Maybe they're a little bit bigger, maybe they size it down. but. Yeah, so nothing special, just a fakey pony. But let me tell you, at the flea market where I found most of those ponies, there were so many other like fakies. I also like wrapped in a, in a, in a bag of um, fakey ponies, which were like um, vintage fakey ponies. And some with those like um, saddles with flowers on it and like very different ones, but they were in really like bad condition like hair wise so I was like okay no I don't don't have to I can't pick up fakey ponies no 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 and I didn't do that <laughs> so that was my like commemorative haul um, pick, pick up leftovers from different things different flea market uh, times uh, stuff from eBay stuff that I was sent so thank you for watching um, if you want to leave a comment because on these videos you can't comment but head over to my Instagram account uh, Love Sky Painter Toys there you will find a, um, yeah, a post uh, for this video where you can tell me anything you want about this what was your favorite pickup like I have to say I can't decide <laughs> uh, I'm really biased between um, these flat feet generation one collector's post ponies and caramel crunch like yeah these are probably my favorites and also of course baby stellar because i never found a generation one in a flea market so thank you for watching uh have a nice day or weekend or whatever it is when you're watching this uh, see you real soon and may the first be with you bye